Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is video 67, demonstrating the ingestion of the newer formatted uh, hash sets from um, NIST, the, well, the, the NSRL hash sets for the relevant files, uh, which have traditionally always been in text format. And uh, in the last year or so, they've gradually migrated and now are fully migrated to using SQLite, uh, which means either uh, using a forensic tool that can ingest them directly or uh, exporting from them a text file format that can be ingested into your forensic tool of choice. Uh, this is easier said than done. Um, I must admit to having somewhat of a wrestle with it myself um, using Linux boxes and Windows terminals and all kinds of things using SQLite and I hit uh, quite a few blockers. So I'm delighted to see that Chris Randall uh, in the public announcements section is posting uh, sets that are ready to be ingested directly into x Forensics, which saves all of us an enormous lot of pain. So thank you very much, Chris, for doing that. So you have to download the files from the resources section of the website. It's a few gigabyte in size, but nowhere near the size of the original SQLite downloads. And then um, all you have to do is unzip it with 7-zip and then you can import it directly into X-Ways Forensics. The first thing you need to do though is to configure X-Ways Forensics hash database. So bear in mind a database can have multiple hash sets. I typically use SHA-1, but you may be an organization that uses MD5 or SHA-256. Whichever one you use predominantly is what you would configure your hash database to be like obviously ensuring it matches the hash sets that you wish to import. So I've downloaded the SHA-1 hash set from the Xways software resources downloads area. So we click that button and it will now create, uh, in theory, in the folder that you've specified your hash database to be stored. So I've just got it in a folder on my C drive, but ordinarily you would put that on a fast secondary drive and it creates a load of binary files, um, 255 I think, or 256-ish, which stores a binary format of the hashes, which is why x can can do its hashing analysis as fast as it does. So that creates the skeleton shell. What you then need to do is import the hash sets directly. So when you click the import button, these are my downloaded uh, hash sets that have been extracted from zip. Uh, there are four in total. I think one's for Android, one's for iOS, one is for um, regular computing. But I'm going to interest all four just to try and maximize my capability of removing irrelevant files. Um, it defaults to irrelevant, but obviously if you're importing a notable hash set, you would choose notable. So I'm going to go with irrelevant and accept these defaults and just click OK. And it will start importing it. It will usually take a few minutes, but doesn't usually take too long. Um, x Forensics is remarkably quick at pulling in so many hash values. But I'll pause it while it does that anyway, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so once it's finished finished ingesting, uh, you end up with these here, and it obviously flags to you that it's these are uh, hash sets that are irrelevant within your hash database specific reference to the fact that this is a SHA-1 database. Those binary files that I told you about earlier, they'll now be full of the uh, of those hash values, which we can now use within our case. So if I now refine the volume snapshot of this particular case, and I choose compute, uh, compute hash, obviously you choose the right hash algorithm to suit your hash database, and you tick this box here, you can match against multiple databases if you wish um, and I'm going to have these other tick boxes selected which I would typically do for most things and if I now click OK to that it will come up with this saying basically which hash sets do you want to use for matching against your data so I'm going to choose all of them because there could be data in here from you know some Android stuff potentially, um, or it could just be computer stuff, whatever. So I'm going to go OK to that, and it asks me for which forensic images or what evidence objects I want to run it against. So there's only one, so that's the one I'm going to run it against. And it will go off and do its thing. OK, so the operation is complete. 
And what I will now see if I right click and explore recursively, you will notice over on the right here under hash set and hash category that it's now identifying what hash sets this particular these particular file items fall under. So this was it this one is in two different sets, this one is in at least three, maybe four. Four, so it's found in all four hash sets. Um, and there'll be a few of these as we go through. Conveniently marked as green, so you know they're um, irrelevant. Uh, and what we can also do is we can filter and we can say show me all the um, all the file items that match the match the uh, the Android hash set, for example. And there's quite a few in there. Thankfully, thanks to uh, Chris and 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 other people, perhaps. So that's it. So thanks to the resources section on the website where this hash structure is already prepared for us, we can now easily ingest it into Xways Forensics and carry on as normal, adding our value all over the place and removing stuff that doesn't need to be looked at. All right. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.